Hey, what is up guys? Bonfiggy here, and today I've got a pretty beast gameplay for you guys. This is actually a 96 kill game. Obviously, it was a Nuketown Demolition, but it's not like a 15 minute long game. I think I was only in the game for a total of like 6 minutes, and I actually joined a bit late. For the first round, I cut that out because I only ended up getting like 16 kills in the second two rounds. They went by really fast, but I got a ton of kills, and I kind of wanted to show you guys this gameplay. Not so much that it's impressive, but to kind of give you guys a few tips. So first of all, obviously on Nuketown Demolition, I'm going to be uploading a lot of Nuketown gameplay because it's one of my favorite maps. It's one that I've always been really great at, especially in Demolition. I think in Black Ops 1, I got like a 250 kill game playing solo, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I thought I might just bring it on into Black Ops 2, play this map almost exclusively. So you can look forward to a lot of Nuketown gameplays. But in case you guys were wondering, this is actually a PC gameplay, and it is so nice right now because there is absolutely zero hackers on this game, or at least I haven't ran into any, because it's so early on in the game, I'm not really sure if they will even be able to hack it, I'm not quite sure. It is PC, so you never know what's going to happen, but as of right now, there's no hackers that I've run into, which is really nice. And also, I wanted to mention, I was only level 9 in this gameplay, which I thought was hilarious. I actually woke up this morning at like 4.30 in the morning because, first of all, I had to get some homework done. So after I got that stuff done, I hopped on some Black Ops 2 for the PC because I actually had downloaded it overnight. I wanted to try it out. And I should mention, for the first round, I was actually trying to adjust my sensitivity and whatnot because it's a little bit different coming from Mono for 3 to Black Ops 2 with the sensitivity and controls and everything. So I had to change all that up. But by the second round, I got it all sorted out. I got only one set of kill streaks. And guys, I don't think it's crazy to say that you can get 300 to 400 kills on this map in Demolition easily because with one set of kill streaks, I was using the. Uh, Reaper thing right here. I think it's called the load star. I still have to get these names down and then I was using the one that's like the um, Martyrdom bombs or whatever in black ops one. I'm trying to think of the name I think it's like the lightning strike that thing does a lot of work for the amount of streak point that it is I think it only takes like seven or eight kills to get there And then it usually gets you at least three or four kills, which is pretty nice And then I was also using the Vito warship which I call the akimbo chopper gunner and that thing does so much work in this gameplay. I call it in right here, and it probably gets me the majority of my kills. But if you were running higher kill streaks, like say K9 unit, Vito warship, and what else, swarm, if you were running something like that, a loadout like that, and you got it two or three times in one game, which isn't crazy to think, man. You can definitely do that with some progression in the game after you get a little bit better and everything. It's not crazy to think that you can't get 300, 400 kills, so I just wanted to mention that real quick. Make sure to play some Nuketown, man. It's my favorite map. You guys are going to be seeing a ton of gameplays of me on this map because I've been playing it almost exclusively now that they have the Nuketown 24-7 playlist, which in my opinion, they should have done that in Black Ops 1. It's my absolute favorite map. And it is really easy to go for those high scoring gameplays. But in case you guys are wondering, I was using the PDW, and I know I got this wrong in my last commentary from yesterday, the 100 plus kill game. And if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you do, but I called it the PAL 57. It's the PDW 57. I was using Silencer and I believe Grip, which is actually a pretty good loadout. I would recommend that to you guys. And uh, it worked out pretty well for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to get another one out for you guys in a little bit. If we can get this video to 500 likes, I'll upload a bonus video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And